Shalom and welcome. My name is Robert Lee Williams, founder of Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar, around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. This is a special emergency news report for America and the world. This is a message that the Lord has been putting on my heart for the last week now. And not only myself, but He has been revealing it to several other people around the country. And uh, I do not like giving this message out, but I knew this message was going to have to get out one day. Because we are in the last days, and it is time. It is time to prepare. Time for America and the world to get on your knees before the living God and repent of all your sins. Not only that, but the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Very soon. A lot quicker than we've ever imagined. This is in our lifetime within a matter of uh, a few years. But what I have to give you may be a little disturbing to some of you, but this is something that needs to get out. This uh, email dated March 14th, because today is the 23rd, just the other day. This comes from Steve Quell. Uh, Chinese troops near Laredo, Texas, and in Canada with 10,000 armored vehicles. Why are they there? Let me read this email to you. A very worried trucker spent time in relating this to me. His account of delivering a tractor-trailer load of food to a Chinese military camp 60 miles south of Laredo, Texas, where I questioned him this, what he stated. The camp is two miles wide by three miles long. There are 10,000 armored vehicles. It blew my mind. I asked him how he calculated the numbers of armored vehicles, and he said, he had time to physically count the rows of armored vehicles as the Chinese soldiers unloaded his truck. He further stated that each armored vehicle could hold between 8 and 10 men. He went on to relate that he was escorted into Mexico from Texas by the, federal, by the Mexican Federal Police so that the truck would not be hijacked by bandits. He stated that living quarters were shipping containers modified to accommodate the soldiers and were positioned neatly in a row. Water tanks, generators, communication complex. A full military base was operational and in place. It should be, obviously, that this contingency of the Mexican prepositioned Chinese troops and the Chinese troops prepositioned in Canada are ready to roll north and south when the command to do so. Under the UN Security Council mandates, it doesn't take much to analyze their purpose. Maybe it was a federale slip when the President of the United States stated it would be easier to be the President of China. Kind of looks like he may get his chance before dismissing eyewitness accounts. I suggest everything. I suggest every believer, follower of Jesus, seek him in prayer for discernment and guidance. We are out of time. Not only that, 
This comes from the Associated Press, dated March the 11th. Chinese or China calls for immediate ceasefire in Libya after days of Allied airstrikes. China was one of five countries to abstain from last week's UN vote to allow necessary measures to stop Gaddafi's assault on rebel-held towns. Not only that, Russia has also warned America and the Allies to cease fire immediately. People, fellow brothers and sisters, this is very disturbing information. This is a warning to America. We must get on our knees right now and repent as an individual, as a country, because I love America. And I know that you do too. I am a veteran of the United States Army. I did love our military. And I still do. I support the troops. But people, I didn't I don't want to see America invaded by China or Russia or anyone else. But I want to be honest with you. As a young adult I had a dream that the United States was going to be invaded by the Chinese troops. I saw this with my own eyes, and my and not not with my own eyes, but in a, in a dream, it was very vivid to me. I never did forget this. Not only that, but last night, I was about three o'clock. The Lord woke me up, and I was on my cell phone, and I was surfing the internet, and something told me to go to Google. And put in dreams about China invaded America. Go there on Google right now after you see this program. And see what you see. I was amazed. There is a lot of other people who has had these dreams also. I was shocked. But not only that. There is other information here I have. It is here. Federal judge using Islamic law, Sharia law. That is wrong. A judge using Islamic law. We're not in an Islamic country. We are in a Christian country. Where the Constitution is our law. Not some Muslim Sharia law. We're not an Islamic country. This judge was wrong. But check out on the internet. I don't think this judge is the only one out there that doing this also. There's other states that forbidding a, a Sharia law to be a law in their own states. I don't know, five or six of them I saw yesterday. But I want to tell you something. There's more information that I have, myself and Pastor Leo Stratman, out of the Church of the Coming King in Seneca, Kansas. We have a lot more information to give out to the body right now. Tomorrow, Thursday, on the 24th of March, 2011, we're having a meeting in Seneca, Kansas. It will be live on Ustream. If you go to my website at propheticinformationministries.com, you'll see the link to where you need to go to Ustream. Or you can go to Ustream and pull up Prophetic Information Ministries and you'll see our show there. It starts at 7 p.m. 7 Central Time. If you are in the area of uh, Seneca, Kansas, we would invite you to come to be a part of this important meeting. The doors open at 6 p.m. and it starts from 7 o'clock. It's usually 7 to 9 or until the Lord leads us. 
we would encourage you to come to watch us either in person or online. Tell your friends and family to watch this program because it is very important. This is where you can learn more about where, to, how you can see where today's news lines up with Bible prophecy. This is something that the Lord has put on my heart to do, a, a live internet broadcast on this. And this is a very important program that all of us must go and see. So tell your friends and family to go to Ustream and watch this program. This will change your life forever. We must get ready. We must get ready right now. So I'm going to close right now. But I'm going to tell you something. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I would encourage you to pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I apologize. I repent of my sins. And I ask you to forgive me. Come into my heart. And be the Lord of my life. Lord, I thank you for what you did for me on the cross. That you died for me. And that you rose three days later. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you said that little prayer... I know your name is being written in the book of life. And you're born again. But again, I encourage everyone to tune in tomorrow for this very important emergency news report from Prophetic Information Ministries. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow online.